Hey, what's up everybody? This is Corey Glenn, and uh, I'm actually currently in Pueblo, Mexico on a dental mission trip. Uh, Danny Domain got me to come down here with him, so I wanted to show you around the facility here because honestly I was super surprised at how nice this is. So let's uh, take a little. So, you know, normally when you think about coming to Mexico and doing this, it's a kind of a sketchy deal, but this is a uh, gated facility. It's like a huge compound, guards. Um, this building actually has a pharmacy and a physician in it. So all of this is part of this same facility. So this is definitely not roughing it. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of games and stuff set up out here because we've had kids from an orphanage that we've been treating. All right, so I'll time lapse some of this, but let's uh, let's walk in to the clinic area. Okay, so scratch that. This is not the clinic area yet, but this is kind of the uh, area like where where you would stay. So there's ping pong tables. There's plenty of stuff to do. Well, usually you're too tired by the end of the day from uh, working so much, so basketball court. The kids have been running wild out here today from the orphanage that we've been treating. All right, now let's go into the clinic. Okay, so. Uh, so Mike Worley runs this clinic, and uh, you know, it's, it's really a mission, I think. Oh. So we've actually got 10 or 12 LSU dental students down here, but again, normally you're coming to these things and roughing it and taking teeth out on a playground in the jungle. That is not this. There's the infamous Donnie Dominguez. Who's that? I'm just making a video of the whole site. So Tyler has been torturing kids all day, pediatric dentist. The number of kids I've heard screaming today is unbelievable. A lot of his staff, so the vast majority of his clinical uh, assistants are Mexican trained doctors, so a lot of times they know more than the people they're helping out. But I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 ops. And he's got two of everything, so two comb beams, two suctions, two, two of everything because, you know, it's not as easy as just calling the supply house if something goes down. Now, I've not been doing dentistry while I've been here, but I have been doing all the digital work. So here is where I've been hanging. So this is the lab area. Excuse me. All right, so we've been actually doing dentures and crowns and bridges and fillings and implants and we even did a uh, all on six with immediate load um, these are our spirit ray printers this is Isaac my, my mini me that I'm trying to teach everything I know which isn't much <laughs> all right so we'll come through here So that's the clinical area, and uh, again, so Mike runs a, uh, an implant immersion course, so if you're interested in learning to do implants, um, man, this is a great place to do it because they really have you do a lot of treatment and do it to a really high level, and all these patients get restored, which is not always the case at these kinds of courses. Uh, more operatories over here, but let's go upstairs now. All right, so one critical part of any kind of trip like this is food. You gotta have good food. Food has been absolutely amazing. So this is kind of the restaurant, cafeteria, area, whatever you wanna call it. So always drinks and stuff ready to go. And man, they feed you three huge, really good meals a day. And then everyone gets their own room with uh, bathroom, shower, uh, all that kind of stuff. I'll, I'll take you into my room just to kind of show you what that looks like. So no roughing it. You got air conditioning. 
It doesn't come with the, the mandolin, but uh, you know, it's it's really nice. There's everything you would need. You get a bathroom, you get your own shower. All right, so that's kind of the setup of all of the rooms. And the weather's amazing here, so lots of balconies that you can just go out and sit on the balcony. Always a nice breeze and no mosquitoes, which is great. All right, so let's go up to the third floor. Okay, so more rooms up here. And then if you were actually taking the course, this would be where he does the lecture. And uh, we actually came up here and watched the NBA Finals. Hello. And then I thought this was crazy. So let's go up here. This is on the roof of the facility. You can see, I mean, this is legit Mexico. All right, so the whole roof is a workout facility and a super nice one at that. So you got all the cardio machines, all the free weights you could want, and a beautiful view. You can even come over here and see the volcano, which is active at the moment. Although not as much as it was about a month ago, but there is constantly smoke coming out of this. Actually, I say that, I think it's a little more active today because there's enough haze. Usually you would see it right through here, but uh, not seeing it today. Probably once it gets dark, you'll be able to see it. But uh, yeah, just an awesome clinic. I mean, this is an amazing clinic for in the States. Much less for Mexico when everything they're doing is, is charitable dentistry. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to post some photos of some of the work we've done, but really it's a, it's a great place. If you're needing implant training, like in-person live surgery, uh, I've not seen a better setup than what Mike has got here. So anyway, that's it.